Hello and a very warm welcome. In today's video, we're going to talk Mercedes drivers, Lewis Hamilton, George Russell. Lewis Hamilton asks F1 fans not to spread negativity with the favouritism claims that George is getting favoured to Lewis. Wow, I don't know if this is going to turn into a rant or whether I'm just going to say it as it is. The negativity, let's be real, is caused by Lewis Hamilton in the media. They were talking in their Thursday media briefings yesterday. Um, yeah, crazy. Hamilton asked F1 fans not to spread negativity with favouritism claims. Now, every time Lewis... He's out qualified, he's out raced. Oh, we, the car's different, the setups. It's literally caused by you. I cannot believe it. I used to be a diehard, would defend this guy till I was blue in the face. But he's actually unbearable now. The amount of bullshit that comes out of his mouth is alarming. And maybe it's taken me a long time to see this, but it is shocking, man. Really shocking. As a driver, I'll always respect him. But he's, he, honestly, he is, he's had a bang to the head, I'm sure he has. He, he's absolutely deluded. Like, deluded. The negativity is caused by you talking bullshit in every single interview about the cars being different. So the fans are hammering George on social media because of you in your interview saying, oh, we're on different setups. We've got different cars. George has got the upgrade. Seven-time champion asked for support from his Mercedes team fans. Not to spread negativity following a recent debate about possible favouritism towards George. I mean, the reality is George Russell has absolutely rinsed him this season. And that's going to hurt. He's going to Ferrari... And I believe Lewis will win at Ferrari. Um, he'll have his mojo back. Lewis Hamilton is one of the all-time great drivers. But recently, he is unbearable. Like, driving-wise, fully respect him. There's no one better out there. But honestly, the amount of shit he comes out with these days is... I mean, Russell, nine. Um, he's got qualifying to a T. He's also... 14 ahead in the drivers. Russell in 69. Lewis 55. Um, yeah. And he's beating him in qualifying. The all-time pole holder is getting out-qualified by someone who takes selfies in a mirror without a shirt on. That's got to hurt. Russell leads Hamilton by 14 points in the driver's standings. Um, yeah. And Lewis, he had his best performance at Canada. And he said it was one of his worst. Again, utter bullshit. Um, I'm sick and tired of it. How is Canada one of your worst performances? It was your best performance of the season. And you should have had a podium. Um, yeah, madness. Hamilton also sparked a particular focus on the dynamics within Mercedes. Performance comes away from my car for some reason. You know what I mean? It's excuse after excuse after excuse. If there is a setup uh, difference between the two cars, if Russell is getting favoured, come out and say it. Don't go round the houses with all oh, performances going away, but I can't actually say what it is. They, you know what I mean? Come out and say it. Say it how you see it. Lewis Hamilton, honestly, I would have defended this guy till my arm was cut off, but now he's unbearable. You can't stand him. If he's not banging a drum about diversity and females in the paddock, he's basically making excuse after excuse why he's getting his ass handed to him by a topless model. Yeah, um, he's he honestly nonsense, utter nonsense. Um, yeah, let's scroll down. <sighs> Hamilton got off at the front wing, but he chose not to use it, deemed qualifying crash too risky in the circumstances. So that's down to Lewis, not Chuchin, isn't it? You know what I mean? We need some reality here. Ahead of this week's Spanish Grand Prix, Hamilton 
was specifically asked by reporters if there's something he wanted to say regarding the development. Yeah, I think they know that we're... If you look at the years, we've always been a strong team. We've always worked hard together. I think it's easy to get emotional, but I think it's always... I even commented in the last rate just about my performance. I think we need support, not negativity. I was actually... I wasn't actually aware George was experiencing negativity. The negativity comes from you spouting bullshit in media, press conferences, post-race interview, post-quality interview, post-race. That is why George is getting negativity. George is a big boy. He can look after himself. Every F1 driver gets hammered on social media. But, yeah... The reality is, George is doing a better job with the package. Um, it's that simple. Has Hamilton checked out to Ferrari? Probably. But Hamilton should, like I said, I used the boxing reference. Carlos Sainz lost his drive. He came out swinging, going for that 12th round knockout in the first couple of rounds. Hamilton was like cowering on the ropes, looking to get out and throw a punch. Um, yeah. George does nothing but his best every single weekend and he's developing with the team so he can't be faulted at all. He can't be. He's beaten a seven-time champion. Beat him in the first season. Lewis responded in the second season. George, at the minute, is doing a better job. It could all change. Lewis could still beat him, but at the minute, Russell is the man. Of course, there always can be things that are better within the team, and that comes with communication. When asked about the situation, Hamilton defending him, Russell speaking alongside him in the motorhome. Personally, I don't look at Twitter or Instagram, to be honest. So, yeah. Just reading. Yeah. So, the negativity stems from Lewis, because he's always complaining about the car. I mark, mark my words, it happens every weekend. Mercedes, Friday. They'll, don't be surprised if they're top of the time sheets in Barcelona. Oh, yeah, man, this car feels amazing. Best it's felt all season, yeah, man. Yeah, man, uh, feels good. Uh, I really fancy our chances in qualifying. Well, uh Hit a lot of apexes and practice. The car was feeling really good. I'm going to go in the motorhome and take a selfie now. Gets to Saturday. Oh, man. The, you need to build me a new car, blood. This, this, this car's not right, man. we got different setups. It's rinse, repeat every weekend. Every weekend. Comment down below your thoughts. I've got to say it how I see it, as I always do. Um, the reality is, George Russell's doing a better job. And the negativity comes from Lewis's nonsense comments in debrief and interviews. Honestly, he's a world-class driver. But, oh my God. I've never seen such a change in a man. I would love to go back to the Lewis Hammer on the 2007-2008 who had absolutely nothing and had to prove himself. And now he's proved himself. He's like, honestly, he's a different person. Sad times.